Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen Keto Recipes. So I really hope you enjoyed the zucchini spaghetti in the last episode that I showed you. And today I'm going to do something really really simple. I'm going to do a tuna salad. And that's going to be a delicious tuna salad with some lettuce, some celery, some spring onion. It's going to be delicious. And I'm even going to have a bacon coleslaw to go with that. So guys, let's go and make that tuna salad. Alright, so before we make that tuna, let's quickly whip up that bacon coleslaw that goes with it. Take some cabbage and chop it up really, really fine because this is going to be raw. Next, we chop up some bacon and again, you want to chop it up into little, little bits. We're going to fry that bacon in a pan till it becomes nice and crispy. You want that bacon to be really crispy. We're going to add that bacon to our chopped up cabbage and to that we're going to add two nice spoons of mayonnaise. You can use homemade or store bought, the choice is yours. We're going to season that with some pepper very generously and a wee bit of salt because the bacon already has salt so don't go overboard. And then we're going to give it a good mix. Oh wait, I want to add something more. So I'm going to add a nice big dash of horseradish sauce. That's going to give it a delicious flavor. And just mix that all in and your coleslaw is ready. Now for the tuna fish and we must crack open this can. And this is one of those... Okay, it's not easy but... Ah, crack. Let's go make that tuna. We're going to start by adding our tuna to a bowl. And to this we're going to add two boiled eggs and you want to break the eggs up a little bit don't make them into a pulp just mash them into nice little bits next we chop up some celery really finely and then we add that into the tuna salad next we chop up some capsicum or green bell pepper as you call it and then you add that to the tuna salad as well Next we want a little bit of crunch with a spring onion and that's also being chopped up and then we add it to the salad. Finally we chop up some lettuce nice and fine and we add that to the tuna salad as well. Now we need some moisture in this tuna salad so we're going to go with mayonnaise. Two nice big spoons of mayonnaise in there. A little bit of mustard. Some horseradish sauce some sriracha sauce for a little bit of heat and don't forget to season it with a bit of salt and pepper and then you give that all a good mix 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 now that the tuna salad is ready it's time to plate it up and we're going to put it on our serving dish put the coleslaw around it top it with some boiled eggs which have been quartered and our tuna salad is ready and the tuna salad is ready and I thought instead of just me hogging on it I'd invite my dad who's uh, here at home today and who's just had his lunch to taste the tuna salad so dad taste it and tell me what do you think here goes I mean I'm going to eat it I don't know about him but I'm loving this the crunchy bacon the tuna the egg Guys, I have to say this. I've eaten tuna salad. I've eaten tuna salad. But this is tuna salad. And not because my sons made it. Because this is the real McCoy. It is amazing. It's got bacon. It's got mayo. It's got boiled egg. It's got, it, it's got everything. I mean, there's nothing more you want. So you enjoyed it then? I'm mm, enjoying. Understatement. It's awesome. I'm ecstatic with this taste. It's almost orgasmic. Thanks, Dad. Uh, so yeah, I hope you're going to try and make this tuna salad at home. We're going to continue to eat it. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Please subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen. And I'll see you on the next episode of, well, Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking.